Testing, testing, one, two, three. <laughs> ah! Okay, okay. Ta -da! <laughs> okay, hello, everybody. Um, I guess this is our breakup video. Oh, wait, I cannot talk. I'm gonna sound funny, funny, but, um, you guys already know why. You understand if you've ever been through this, right? Um, anyways, um, so braces update, they are gone! <laughs> okay, um, like a lot of people have probably mentioned, or you might have heard people that had braces say, oh, their teeth feel slimy after they're off. Um, that was true for the first, like, five minutes, but then once they scraped it off, like, they didn't, my teeth don't feel slimy, but they feel really smooth. It's weird. Like, I don't remember exactly how my teeth felt before, but this is not, it doesn't feel how, it doesn't feel familiar, okay? So, they feel really smooth, they look really yellow, and <laughs> I hate them. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna lose some subscribers now, and that makes me sad, but I mean, I understand because a lot of you subscribe because I had braces, and you wanted to know more about braces. That's true. When one of the people was like, RIP your YouTube channel, <laughs> which no, it is not resting in peace, okay? Because I still have more videos to post, but um, a lot happened and i guess i need to go over i was gonna write this down but i did not my appointment was at 9 a.m and i had to stop by my old place to go get like the voter ballot thing and i got i was already running late in the morning so i got there around like 8 50 and luckily it's um pretty close it's pretty close to my ortho appointment, uh, orth orthodontist office. Um, so I went there, but I wanted to like catch up with my old roommate. And so we did that and that took up a bunch of time because, you know, a lot of shit happened. Um, but I got there at 9.15. Ugh, I sound so weird. Um, there was barely any people there for like a Saturday morning saturday morning which was surprising um so even though i was late right when i signed in um they literally got me in like two minutes so i was bam in there they got straight to business i wanted to film it but that office is is weird they don't allow like phones and cameras and filming and all that stuff they went ahead and they yanked them off my teeth which really hurt that was like the worst part of my whole braces treatment if i'm being honest like i don't mind wearing braces or having braces but to have to go through taking them off uh, i'll pass because it literally felt like they were ripping my teeth out or they were gonna accidentally chip one or break one maybe i just have sensitive teeth but um after they took it out um the girl like shaved down the stuff you know the stuff that they used to um apply it they took that off and after all that was good my ortho wanted to take x-rays to like check something make sure everything looked good um so we went and did that with these weird standing machines you have to like put your chin on and they put these things I thought maybe my asymmetrical face slash body like was messing it up because the girl could not figure it out for a good like min five minutes or so. She could not like one pole was touching my head and the other was way over here and I'm just like am I that off center? I don't understand. Um, but someone helped her fix it whatever. Um, after they got the x-rays which I will insert here or here. Um, it showed that two two teeth on my left bottom were like slanting inwards um so she was like i want to put braces back on because i want it to be perfect which it's not in any way perfect at all but she wants it to be perfect so she only put four 
at down here and because of that I couldn't get my bottom retainer and instead she applied a permanent retainer on the back of my teeth here I'll do a close-up and that's so they don't move while these are you know getting fixed so that was one of the bad news thing whatever I'm telling you, there's so much wrong with my teeth and my mouth, and it's just not fair, okay? But I'm not going to let it bring me down. Second part of the bad news or update of my braces, um, I might have mentioned before, but I have um, two teeth missing at the bottom here, one less molar on each side. And what that means is the top two molars in the back here have nothing to rest on. So... Um, she said what she mentioned in the beginning of my braces treatment that I need to either pull these out or insert some um, implant implant molars on the bottom just so um, they have something to rest on because if they don't she said they're gonna keep growing longer and get in the way or something and that that just sounds stupid but whatever that's what she knows right she she worked she studied went to school for this so yeah so now i have to think about that for my future long term i mean i could just ignore it you know like they can't make me but just later on in life it'll probably fuck me over right <laughs> so i need to decide what'll be less intrusive um quicker to heal to get either two teeth removed and have like a whole in my upper jaw or get some implants which I imagine is hurting way more <laughs> and I don't want to have to go under anesthesia like <sighs> it's so scary I've never done that before and oh I don't know just like it freaks me out to think I would have to do either of that and when I feel in my bottom like jaw row of teeth Ah, I don't know how to explain it, but it doesn't feel thick enough. Like, it feels thinner, you know? Like, if a tooth were going in, like... I don't know how to explain it. So, I can't imagine having teeth implanted there. Maybe I'll, I'll probably get some consultations from a couple different dentist office, offices or, like, a cosmetic surgeon, dental surgeon. I don't know, but that's just more money I have to pay, and I'm not trying to do that why Ugh. to think it was gonna be done you know like I feel like I still have a lot of stuff to do to my mouth if I want it to be like good and perfect or decent enough I don't know um I have my upper retainer it felt fine at first but now it's starting to feel sore which is weird like I don't know why it's feeling sore like over here and I'm really hoping my teeth don't move because that'll suck. That's why I want to wear these like 24 seven because I'm so scared they're gonna move and I just went through all of that and that was probably my biggest, well, one of the biggest insecurities of my smile before was not only the asymmetricality or whatever, the midline, but this tooth kind of like, oh, is it this one? Protruded forward, fuck, I don't remember. But I will insert pictures here that's my smile before <laughs> and um yeah um i still am not satisfied with my smile but that's my own thing like just because i don't like my smile doesn't mean like i feel ugly or less than myself or unworthy of whatever it's not that it's just i'm not 100 percent satisfied so therefore I will probably keep doing stuff or later on in life or whenever, I don't know, some kind of cosmetic surgery to fix my gum line, um, my lip, I don't know. Um, but I will give it a break, obviously, I'm not just jumping in, like, I just got money to blow, no. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Um, we got pretty close to a thousand subscribers, so that's cool. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here and supporting me. Um, I do have more braces videos I'm gonna be posting, even though these are, like, done so, right? Um, and because these are still here, I'll be updating that. 
Uh, so we're not officially done yet, but just know that um, they're off and the hair begins a new chapter. <laughs> so yeah. I uh, appreciate a like and a comment. Um, you don't have to subscribe, you don't have to share the video, but a like and a comment will really make my day. Okay, that's it. Bye. Ah.